Hey, how are you? I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk Monday Night Football. The Chargers head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. Before I get into my favorite game scripts, DFS play, some recent betting trends, let's talk about Team Riser Fall. Actually, but we're going to start here. Hopefully everybody had a Merry Christmas. It was great. It was bright. It was warm. Surrounded by friends and family, tons of food, cake, whatever you're, you're into. And we had a ton of football all weekend. And it was a beautiful thing to kind of take a few days to rest, reset. And here we go. Monday morning, the day after Christmas. How many of you uh, are going to sleep in today? How many of you are not even going to go to work? We can, uh, can't check the sleep off thing because we're here uh, doing the video here, but I, I'd love to not go to work today. I'd love to just hang out and, and just with Beastie, eat more food and, and talk football. And specifically, let's talk about Team Riser Fall, shall we? This is the perfect time to get in on this thing, right? And when you get there, you can use promo code Beastie. You'll get $10 off your first month of premium services, and it involves everything that the fantasy cruncher that voucher that rolls over all the tabs that run over and even the discord which is free and we have a bevy of coaches giving away cores uh, for basketball uh, cores for hockey and even football on the main slate here so get in there and, and hang out and tag me when you get there or anybody else say hey Chris I'm here you can use that promo code beastie all right let's talk about football and we're going to be quick to the point in this one right when we look at uh, the Chargers eight and six they've won uh, three of their last four games and currently in sixth place in the AFC, AFC standings. I mean, last week uh, that they, they won and it was about a bunch of other teams lost, lost and they get, boom, they got vaulted up to the sixth overall seed in the AFC playoffs. And it's getting down to crunch time here. So it, you're either in or you're out. That, that bubble or in the hunt is going away quickly. If you're in, you're in. And that there's no no if ands, or buts about it. Sunday, uh, yeah, Cameron Dicker's been awesome. 43-yard field goal with 43 seconds remaining uh, and to, to take the Chargers over over 17-14 against the, the Tennessee Titans. When we look at, at what the heck's going on in Indianapolis, man, if you're a, uh, a Minnesota fan, if you're a Colts fan, that game last week was unbelievable. They're in midst of a four-game losing streak and have continued. They, they played really hard for Jeff Saturday. I mean, they were up, what, 33 to nothing, and then they let Minnesota come from behind. I mean, it was unbelievable, so now we got to deal with uh, all those Matt, Matt Ryans attached to two of the biggest comebacks of all time in Super Bowl history and in in the real life not real life but regular season so it, it is what it is how much heart does, does do the Colts have left here uh Monday night not playing it not playing for anything the day after Christmas it's going to be tough sled and I think the Chargers win this one but how much what's the final score going to be and, and where are we going to go let's start with Justin Herbert shall we this kid is, is uh, unbelievable and I don't even think we've seen his final form yet and I know I keep saying that but hey uh the Indianapolis Colts 21st overall against opposing uh quarterbacks. Herb, 16 grand on FanDuel, 10-4 on DK, $31 on Yahoo, 27, 28 completions, well over 300 yards, and I'm thinking four or five carries for another 10 to 15 yards and a pair of touchdowns. It's going to, the move here is, yeah, yeah we're going to play Herbert. You're in this game where the Colts are just, I, I don't even know if their head's going to be there. They don't have Jonathan Taylor anymore. It's I don't know how bad this is going to be for the Colts. So again, everybody and their mother is going to be on Herbs and Eckler and all that, and, and that's all well and good. That's what I'm telling you to do here or, or, or advising you to do here, but we have to pick and choose what pieces we're going to use with Herbert. On the flip side, Nick Foles is going to be starting uh, for the Indianapolis Colts. I'm going to save all the, the big dick Nick stuff and all that. I, I, I won't even say that, so let, we'll act like that didn't happen. Nick Foles, the Chargers, uh, they look to be 11th, 19th overall, excuse me, against opposing quarterbacks. Foles, 14 grand on FanDuel, 9 grand on DK. I'm thinking around 23 to 24 completions for Nick Foles, uh, 240 40 yards, uh, two to three carries, another 10 yards, and a touchdown pass or two. Again, Foles, he's going to, the Chargers, uh, if they can get right, if they can get healthy on defense, that's been their, 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 not Achilles heel, but yeah, a lot of teams this this point of the season. If they can crash down on Foles, uh, it's going to be all bad for him. When we look at the running backs, it's Austin Eckler's world, right? We I, I've said this before about CMC and and other good, you know, studly uh, running backs here. Austin Eckler, get this, the, uh, the Colts, 27th overall against opposing running backs. Eckler's going to have himself a day, uh, a day after Christmas feast, if you will. 16-5 on FanDuel, 11 grand on DK, 38 bucks on Yahoo, and, and uh, the price fits fits what we're doing here, right? When we look at Austin Eckler, 13-14 carries around 50 to 55 yards and 5 to 6 receptions for another 40 yards. So, uh, again, th those are like, you know, floor numbers, right? So, uh, when we look at it, 50 yards on the ground, 40 yards in the air, that's all 5 plus 4 is 90. I think we 
do see an upside here of, of, of above 120, maybe even 130 all-purpose yards and at least one touchdown. He's the luck, nice make for a nice little anytime touchdown bet with Austin Eckler. On the flip side for the Indianapolis Colts, excuse me, it's uh, very early here and I've had one cup of coffee. I'm like slurring my the damn bad best coats. Uh, when we look at the, it, it's Zach Moss or, or, or Dion. D, that's it, one or two. And we remember Zach Moss comes over from, from Buffalo in a trade here and Dion, Dion has looked good when they needed him to fill in for, for just uh, Jonathan Taylor early in the season. Uh, when we look at this, the Chargers, 29th overall against opposing running backs here. Zach Moss, 12 grand on FanDuel, 7 grand on DK, 15 bucks on Yahoo. Moss, 12 to 13 carry, 60 yards, 2 or 3 receptions for another 15 yards. And when we look at uh, Dion here, uh, he is 11 grand on FanDuel, 7 6 on DK, 12 bucks on Yahoo, 8 9 carries, 40 yards or so, and a reception for another 10 yards here. So to me, I would have no hesitation using all three running backs in the same line. Obviously, uh, I have Moss for, what, what is it, four or five more carries, and I have uh, Dion just like not playing a backup role, but yeah, you know, we've seen NFL teams where it's like that one, two punch, that one, two combo here. I think right off the bat, Indianapolis is going to look to, to Zach Moss to get this done. And they're going to mix it. And they're just going to use uh Deion Jackson to spell Moss here. I could be wrong. When we look at the wide receivers, uh, Al Keenan Allen, Michael Williams, where are we going there? Uh, Keenan Allen, when we look at the Indianapolis Colts seventh overall against opposing wide receivers here. So Keenan Allen, 13, five on FanDuel, nine, eight on DK and $21 uh, on Yahoo. Keenan Allen, his n usual workload, 10, 11 targets, seven, eight receptions around 75 to 80 yards and a touchdown. When we look at Michael Williams here, uh, 12, five on FanDuel, nine, four on DK, $23 on Yahoo. Michael Williams, eight, eight, nine targets, five, six receptions, 70 yards and a touchdown here. So that's where we're going to want to go here. And again, you're probably like, well, Chris, you're not saying anything that, that we don't know. Uh, Palmer is also in play. If we're going to want to look that way, when we look at the Colts wide receivers, Pittman or Paris. And again, we've seen full falls in spots. Heck, the guy won a Super Bowl for Philadelphia a few years ago. And it's like, well, how, how much, uh, you know, we look at backup quarterbacks, we're like, ah, I, I don't want to use wide receivers in that offense, but we know what fall, falls is about and it's all good, right? And I get, I said 14 grand on Fandle, nine grand on DK. So let's look at Michael Pittman. And again, Chargers, eighth overall against opposing wide receivers. Pittman Jr., 13 grand on Fandle, eight two on DK, eight $18 on Yahoo, uh, eight, nine targets, six, seven receptions, 65 to 70 yards. We'll check that off the list in Paris Campbell, nine grand on FanDuel, five, four on DK, 15 bucks on Yahoo. We're looking at five targets. I think that Paris, and this is like a game within a game. I think Paris Campbell has a chance here. Four, five targets, four, five receptions to be perfect. Targets to receptions here. And again, I, I, I have Paris Campbell around 50 yards or so, and that'd be sweet if Paris could find the end zone here. Although I think it's Pittman Jr. and a little bit of Zach Moss. When we look at the tight ends, there's not much. I mean, we could go any which way, and I, I feel like we could get away in this game without any of the tight ends. Gerald Everett, Mo Ali Cox, Jelani Woods here. Let's talk about Everett briefly. The uh, Colts, 11th overall against tight ends. Everett, 8 5 on FanDuel, 9 uh, 8 on DK. No, there's no way. He's 4 8 on DK. Excuse me. I can't. Sometimes my own handwriting is like, oof. Everett, 4 8 on DK, 15 bucks on Yahoo. Gerald Everett, a nice. Nice little showing tonight. Six, seven targets, four, five receptions, and around 40 yards. When we look at Jelani Woods, uh, seven grand on FanDuel, two, eight on DK, only 11 bucks on Yahoo, four to five targets, three to four receptions, and around 30 yards. When we look at the DSTs, there's not much that, that I like here because I have this final score, 28 to 21, but I've, I've said it myself. I mean, if we're going to play defenses, it doesn't matter about points for and points against. We want sacks, interceptions, fumble recoveries, and, and when we look at Herbs, he's cool, calm, and collected, not going to make mistakes, not 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 willingly like that. And when we look at Nick Foles, I mean, he doesn't strike me as a guy, you know, th at this portion of his career that's just going to throw toss-up balls or just throw into traffic and say, F the world, and we're going to do that. So to me, of the two, the Chargers would be in play because the Indianapolis Colts, they're 32nd overall in terms of giving away points to opposing DST. So the Chargers, nine grand on FanDuel, four six on DK, only 13 bucks on Yahoo. 
Here's some betting trends. Give you a final score, and we're going to get the heck out of here. The Chargers, 5-2 and two against the spread their last seven road games. That That's nice to see. The Colts, 2-8 and eight against the spread their last 10 games after, dig this one, 5-2 and two their last 10 after allowing more than 250 yards passing in their previous yard, previous game, 2-8 and eight against the spread. Not good. Under 5-2 and two the Chargers' last seven games. Overall, the under 4-1 and one in the Colts' last five games, and the Chargers 7-2-1 and one against their spread their last 10 times these two teams have met. So we, I, I've already said it. Jonathan Taylor is not playing. It's a devastating loss to the Colts, who were already reeling and, and falling down the dump as it begins. So give me the Los Angeles Chargers to win this one, 31-20, and just, you know, just, just ride off, not ride off into the sunset, but go and really smash. And we're not in the bubble anymore. We are making the playoffs. So they go from the sixth seed. Maybe they're bumped up a couple spots. And I will see you again on Thursday, the last Thursday night football game of the season. Los Angeles Chargers win this one 31 to 20. See you later. Bye.